All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Funny Little Honey Farm and a look into the grow tent. It's the status of the grow tent right now. So we've been working on some crack key lettuce, right? Dr. Dr. Crack key said that, and we've talked about crack key before, but there it is. You guys can see it, right? The cracky lettuce is doing great. I've actually got two heads of lettuce in here. I should cut one out of there, but I was like, let me go ahead and let it grow a little bit, to at least to the point where I can get me some baby lettuce leaves. So that is a um, some kind of weird Caesar something it said, right? Little Caesar's lettuce or something. I can't really, really remember, but it's kind of a crunchy lettuce, and we like that, right? For hydroponics, it's really kind of hard to get crunchy lettuce inside, but this type of lettuce is kind of crunchy and it works kind of well in the back we still have the other lettuce we had going and this oh, we've got some tomatoes Let's move them out of the way for a second that's the uh, lettuce that was planted at the same time this was uh, the only difference is there's some uh, bubblers going on in this one and this is just trash sorry some uh, radish leaves and leads us over to our little surprise of our experiments of our radishes and that's what we're gonna do today or tonight uh, we're gonna go ahead and harvest these radish and see what we got right because I see one way back in there and I'm like that is cool and I want to pull that out and I want to see how big that radish is right uh, and I'm gonna take it upstairs and I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna eat it but we have another one right there right now before I cut these radishes I'll just go and go ahead and show you that not every single one turned into uh, a very thick radish All right look at these stringy looking weird wonky things right so I don't know what happened to them but I do hear that you can eat radish greens. Um, they're kind of spiky. I don't know if that's just the way I grew it. Now look at the size of that radish, that radish green right there, man. Big as your hand, right? Because that's that big ass, oops, sorry for my language. That's that big radish down in there, right? So before I pull those out of those net pots to show you, let's look down in here and that's what a, uh, that's a whole bunch of radish roots right there. You didn't realize that radishes would grow that many roots. I didn't. Maybe you did. Uh, in the back here, we've got a couple of our tomato plants that are going to go. Uh, we're going to do that in our next video about hydroponics. We're going to show you how they go into their own uh, net pot and they go outside. I'll just show you real quick. That's the net pot they're going to go into, right? Sneak peek. Uh, this is some uh, radish greens that I had pulled off of there earlier. Nothing else really going on in here except you see our uh, squash plants turning yellow. It tried to even grow some little flowers on there. It was way too early. It's too work, too early to go outside, so that one's probably going to die off. I hope not. Got too much water in it right now, but it'll drain down. You see what it's doing? I have it in a double cups thing. Move it over here to this one. All right, so we got our cucumbers going on in back in there, and we got our little house plant that don't know what it is really exactly, but my friend Kelly gave it to me, and I like it. So keep it watered. Keep it growing back in there. All right, so let's pull out these radishes and see, see what we got going on down in here, right? So I think these are my two best radishes. I'm going to cut those out and take them upstairs. The rest of them I'm just going to leave in here for tonight, probably. Um, pull that one. I'll pull the ones that I think I can eat. The rest of them I'm going to leave in here because tomorrow morning I'll get up and I'll pull all these greens and I'll give them to the chickens, right? Except for those tomatoes. We're going to wait and replant those. Uh, that'll be for another video. So let's go ahead and pull these out. See what we're going. See what we got going on here, right? So, oops, get out of the way. All right, and out of the rock wool. Look at that. Oops. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Right? Look at that. That's a radish grown in a rockwell cube in a hydroponic garden. Let me see what it smells like. Oh, wow, it smells really good like a radish. Can you smell that? You can't smell it, but you can look at it. So don't look at my thumb, right? Look at the radish. Oh man, that looks good. But that big one out of there. Let's set that down for just a second. Let's go back and pull this one out. Let's see. I hope these aren't pithy. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that one's stuck in there. Wow, okay. So the Rockwell cube on this one is just all busted up. It does not want to come out of there. Oh, 
Yikes. And it snapped. But guess what, folks? That snap means that it's crunchy. Right? Look at that. Yeah. I'm slicing that bad boy up and eating it, man. I'm sorry. That man, it smells good. I do want to clean it up a little bit because it's got a hydroponic solution on it. But uh, I'm going to scrub that down. Chill that. Then I'm going to cut it up. Well, get out of my way. Sorry. That's my thermometer hanging there, right? But look at this thing. That's a hydroponic radish. Still crispy. Little silly looking. Not the perfect radish, but man, for something I didn't even think was going to work. I'm pretty impressed with that. I think it's just a matter of the media. So they grow great in hydroponics. It's just a matter of the media. So, all right, I'm taking up enough of your time, folks. We got nothing going on in the bottom right now. We're going to come up with some, uh, we got to do some peppers outside, right? So uh, I have pretty much everything I want to grow outside. I just need like two more peppers. So if anybody has any suggestions on peppers, put them down in the bottom, some comments down there. Uh, I've done ghost peppers last year. I don't want to do them again. Um, I'm definitely doing jalapeno, sereno, or serrano, um, jalapeno some green pepper, uh, and some pepperoncini. So if you have any other ideas, let me know. Uh, I'll give them a try. So there you have it, folks. Stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching.